This is a quick little tutorial on how to make your own Christmas or toques or Santa hats. You can paint them any color you like. I use basswood, but I have also carved them out of small pieces of waste cottonwood bark from other projects. You can carve a lot of really cool things out of a simple piece of basswood that can be found in any craft store, Michaels, that sort of thing. The tools that I use are a square, pencil, a gouge if you have one, but you can still shape it all with your favorite bench knife, your favorite small V tool for putting the lines in the bottom, and of course a saw to cut the hat off when you've done most of the roughing in. It makes it a lot easier to carve while it is still on the stick. It gets really small after you've cut it off and it gets more dangerous to cut. If you have a gouge, I like to start at the top getting the shape of the hat. Then you can start coming up at it like this. So you're going to want to take all your sharp corners off. If you don't have a gouge and you want to just use a bench knife, just come in the same way, down like this, and then up your stop cut. And then come across the top and start taking all your corners off. Keep working your way around the entire hat. Going back and forth. Shorter cuts down this way, longer cuts up so that you start to shape this part here. Staying right on the line at this part is not all that important. It's nice to have a little bit of variety to where the pom-pom sits. Sometimes you can even shape it to flop to the side. going around a couple times until that pom-pom starts to stick out a little ways. Don't go all the way just yet. Start getting your shape in, start taking the corners off. bite down like this and come up to that and then you get a nice clean cut there. At this point I like to take a bunch of swipes going around and around and just bringing that pom-pom down to a more manageable size and starting to form it as a ball. Out of a square. Your pom poms can vary a lot. They can be very fat, tall and skinny, and they always still look great. Right on the top of the pom pom is going to be your end grain. The grain is running this way through the wood, so these are all stacked up pointing this way, and it's a little bit difficult to carve. If you're going to paint your hat, you need to make sure to take all the unfinished parts down a little bit because the edge like here and here won't take the paint the same way that the cut parts will. Now you can go 
ahead and shape the hat a little bit more. Whatever looks like a good fluffy pom-pom to you. You can spend as much time as you want fussing with the shape and the look of it, or as little time as you like, I find. And often it'll still look great. chisel and come straight down on it with the chisel. I'll show you that in a minute. And I cut quite deep into the corner because our corners have to come right off. So cut quite deep and then bring it across to the next corner and I spin the stick. And I cut that deep again. And you're going to keep reinforcing these stop cuts as you go this is a good start. If you have a chisel, like this one, you can use this as well. Bring your cuts across and dig them in nice and deep in the corner. Then we'll do that again on the top line. Deep in the corner. Deep in the corner. Now you've got these nice straight stop cuts and you can come down to the stop cut all the way around. Take more off on your corners because of course we're rounding that and take less off as you come across here. Just take it bit right down on the bottom. You can see here that we've come down this way, like this, but we haven't done the bottom band of the hat yet. We haven't even taken the corners off. Now we did put in the stop cuts. They are there. So now I like to come around and again, more on the corner. And go slow, you can always take more off, but you can't add any back. And then I like to just take a smidge across the bottom of there to bring it into that stop cut. And once I've done that all the way around, then we can come in and start rounding off this corner and taking off like that, our finished faces. So, just a smidge off of there, but take off quite a bit on the corner. And just start, so you come across like that, like that, keep turning it a little bit, like that, and don't worry about your cuts here too much because we're going to come in here with the V tool and make all the lines. can see where we've come in and we've taken the 
corner off to help round it out and we've met up with our brim here. So I just again deepen the cut, come down to that stop cut so it's has that little snick like that and just like that and then you've got that brim happening right there again. So don't worry if you're rounding off your corners like this and you need to deepen your stop cut. That's okay. Just here. And just come straight down to clean that up. Like that. We're getting there. All right, now we can see that it's time to narrow the top of the hat so that it's not quite so fat on the top there. You can see the difference. And what I like to do before I start taking away this wood is to come down this way on the pom-pom to create a little edge here like this. And I like to do this first because as you can see every time I end up hitting this part with the blade and so you end up with a bunch of little nicks in there. So I do this before I go in and shape this part. Now I can come up from the bottom and, and get this. Just, I just like to go around and around and kind of do things a little bit uneven so it's more of a natural fabric look. And go all the way around and then you can just pull it off and out of your way and come in straight down and then that's going to clean up that fuzz. Be careful when you're cutting straight down to do your stop cuts. If you're underneath or if you're doing this in your lap you can go right through and cut yourself. So always make sure that you're keeping your hands out of the way of the blade and that if it were to go through, it would hit something safe. So I just go around like that and then I'll probably go around another time and I might stay up a little higher this time, make shorter swipes because we want nice bulk down here but we want it skinnier, meeting the pump pump. And again, we have to go around. You gotta be careful that you don't cut through too far or you'll pop that pom pom right off. Glue is your friend when you're a beginning carver. Nobody needs to know. And you'll, you'll learn your strength. I like to make the pom pom a little smaller now. Often it's feeling a little too big at this point. And again, you can see that I'm just taking the high points down, turning in a circle. I'm being somewhat random to get that shape. Now I have to be more careful with this cut or I'm going to leave marks. I'll have to come back and take it. some marks. I come back in. I'm just lightly shaving now. I'm not cutting in quite so deep. But I'm still trying to get that toque shape. We've got a pretty decent shaped hat here. So we're going to take our V-tool, a nice small one, and we're going to come in and make lines all the way around the brim so that get this look like that. You can see now we've got it roughed the uh, 
brim is roughed in now and we can take our saw and cut the tuque out. <laughs> After we do the lines for the brim, then we end up with a bunch of little nicks in here, just like we did up here when we were doing the pom-pom. So just to clean that up, I like to go around and very carefully just take a little bit off around here like this. And then it takes those lines out and it helps you round it and clean it up a little bit have to be super gentle here so that you don't take your brim off. And again, if the piece doesn't come away, just cut straight down and then that will cut it. We're still rounding a little bit here. And if you decide that there is a part the toque it's still too square or didn't get the right lines sometimes these will break off you can always come in with your v-tool again and reshape them so here's a good example of that we're going around and we're just cleaning up these little nicks and i noticed that this is still kind of square so I can come along and do this. There, just round it out a bit more. I can cut the V tool again. Be really careful because you'll put the V tool right into your finger if you're not careful. And you just put some new lines in there like that. And now it's a little bit more rounded on the corner, and you've got fresh lines in there. And there you have it. One little toque. I tend to paint them like Santa or any color you want along here, but I tend to keep this uh, a buttercream or an off-white, something like that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching!